The Focus First software really allows you to customize your real estate reviews report really quick and easy. And it's super powerful, so let's jump into how to do that. So in this video, we're gonna cover starting from the point of the report is already made. So if you haven't made your real estate review report, go back to the previous video and see how that's done so that you can start this video with a made report. First, we're gonna work on customizing the template, then we're gonna customize the header, then we're gonna cover a couple of the optional steps that you might wanna do, like adding a cover page. This is a great and powerful resource for you, so let's jump into it and really just walk through the whole process. Okay, so starting with our pre-made report, we are here. Now, in order to get into the customization menu, what we're gonna do is click this Customize Reviews button right here. This will open up this window. So in this window, there's two real sections. The first section here says banner text and the bottom section says customized template. The main difference is this banner text, which is right here on the top header line of the report, you have to update every time. This is where you can add an address or your customer's name or whatever you want to as far as how you wanna personalize this to your clients. This area here, this customized template, once you save it, it will stay that way. So you can keep running reports, but it won't change. This allows you to add your contact information, like first name, last name, and all your other contacts, as well as adding a logo or a, any kind of user graphic you had. And this is in the footer area right here. Okay, so this information you can see in the footer on this left side, this information you can see in the footer on the right side, and then that logo can go right here. You can also change the color of these banners to match your company colors, and you can change the font and the banners both on the top and the bottom as well. Now, you can't change the, the fonts or colors in the actual uh, middle portion of the report. It is locked to make sure that it lays out correctly. Uh, but you are more than willing to change anything on the outside. Now, the other area that you can adjust is this little bold message here in the paragraph underneath. Um, you can personalize this to use your own tagline, your own catchphrase, or whatever you want to, or you can write a super custom message if you want to your customers in that box. Just remember, once you save this, it will stay no matter what reports you run. Uh, so if you ever put anything super custom here, you're gonna have to make sure you update that constantly. But once you make any kind of changes you want, so let me, for example, change, and I'm gonna change and put a little bit of a square logo in here. Once you make your changes here, click Save As Template, and you can see the, the actual logo changed here, and now it says First Name. So this allows you to really customize it and make it your own. So as far as customizing the report, you're basically ready to print and ready to present this now. Some people really like adding the cover page to their report, and we're all for that. You know, there's some truth that the first impression really makes a difference. So in order to help you with that, we created some very easy to change and customize uh, cover page templates. So these can be found in your real estate reviews or reviews resources underneath the cover page template right here. So once you open that and download your template, you'll find this PowerPoint presentation. Now what this lets you do is go through and very easily select one of these three templates. You can type in here, changing your name. And if you want, you can always add your own logos or add other pictures in the background. And the way to do that is by right-clicking on any of these images, click Change Picture from a file, and then selecting the image you want to put in there. And just like that, you can make it personal to your own. You can print this and attach it to the front of your real estate review to really make it clean, beautiful, and impactful. The other thing we do recommend sometimes is adding the previous MLS or the current property record sheet to the real estate review. The reason why, we'll see this in the presentation video, when you get to this back line, it's asking them to draw a line from their square footage to the market value trend line to give them a rough estimate of what the value of their home has you know, risen to in the past 12 months. So for some people, they may not know their square footage, so it's always positive to have that provided to them. Now, you've seen this video, and I've kind of walked very fast through the customization, but if you ever want to go deeper into it and really read about uh, a little bit more of the customization or walk through it more, we do still have the customization guide, which is also here in your reviews resources under reviews customization guide. When you open that up, what you'll find is this document, which gives you kind of a walkthrough of the different ratios supported as far as the logo shape from square to rectangle to that full width banner, as well as what 
things you can personalize and what we recommend to keep the same. So just like that, you've got it customized, personalized to your customer and ready to go. Now the next step is presenting it to them and we'll cover that in the next video.